Story, 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 story. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Ada. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Um, Aisha is not in yet, right? No, Ma. Okay, very well then. I'm in my office. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Listen, I'm not to be disturbed today. No one at all. Okay, ma. Including Miranda. Including Miranda. Okay. Who was that with Aisha? I don't know, Ma. Oh, okay. But she asked not to be disturbed. She said that? Yes, Ma. That I shouldn't disturb her too? Yes, Ma. Ah, pro co secretary. I too know. Okay. Thank you. So, you want to tell me who this Miranda is? Uh, why are you asking? Seems to me that you're more than just friends, from what I see. Why? You tell me. And do not turn it around on me. Who is she? She's just a work colleague, sweetie. Then why are you asking all these questions? You left instructions with the security not to let anybody in. They asked about Miranda. At the main gate, the same thing. And now, at the office, who is she? I wonder what this Aisha girl is up to this time around. Could it be the person she was talking to after the episode with Princess? Hmm. Anyways, in due time, everything will come out in the open because nothing is hidden under the sun. Hassan, you know about all these securities and secretaries? You almost always have to remind them of set rules for them to stay on top of it. And besides, sometimes I give certain instructions only to make an exception. Maybe that's why they asked. Well, in that case, Miranda must be a recurring exception. She's just a friend who happened to visit me at home sometimes. And why are you getting all worked up about this? Don't blame me. I know your history. Well, if you know my history, why are you bothered? I mean, did you expect me to die of loneliness living with that monster? Or would you rather I slept with all the men like you're doing with all the women? Aisha. Oh, don't think I don't know about it. The fact that I choose to be quiet doesn't mean I'm stupid. I'm just being understanding of the situation. Don't make me regret I went ahead with this whole messed up plan created by you. I did not create all this, Aisha. And I do not like the tone of your voice. You are the one who came to me and said some, some rich guy proposed to marry you even though he knew you were pregnant with my child. After you abandoned me and asked me to get rid of the baby. What the hell did you expect me to do? I was no good to anyone and I didn't want to bring any child into this world to suffer. Which was why I asked you to stay away and let Prince take full responsibility. But no, you wouldn't hear the last of it. That is when you came up with this whole messed up plan. No, don't let me get upset. Because the initial plan was for you to get married to the guy have the baby, and at the first opportunity you get, you drag his ass to court, and you get a divorce, so we get his money. Well, excuse me for trying without success. Why don't you blame the corrupt system for allowing him to, to get away with bribery? 
Why do you think I came back here? Why do you think I'm still here? You are here because you want more. You have enough money. Why don't you just leave? You have your family, you have me, your husband and your daughter. What are you still looking for? Why are you still hanging around here and what's with this whole establishment? I will leave when I want to leave. And for your information, this establishment here is what is keeping me grounded so I can grow some balls just to be able to get half of his estate and his finances. Listen to me, no judge will refuse a woman who wants her convicted husband's money for charity work. And if I get a good start in the society, I just might get your criminal record expunged. Hassan, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? I've been doing this by myself for a while now, so if you can't wait any longer, just beat it. Because guess what? I've been doing this by myself this whole time. So you know what? What the hell? What the hell, huh? Yes, what the hell? Okay. I'm going to leave. But not without my daughter, Princess. And then when you figure all this out, you know where to find us. You can go anywhere you want to, but you're not taking my daughter anywhere. Oh, so now she's your daughter and not mine. You do not want me to remind you of how much of a sperm donor you are. Don't make me do this. I feel so insulted, Aisha. But I'm going to keep my cool. And I'm going to stick around because I don't want to lose you both again. I loved you. And that is why I married you. Even though I knew that you were going to be living with another man. And don't you think that in all of this, that I'm the one who got hurt the most? I guess you, you choose to insult me at every opportunity that you get. Well done, dear wife. When you calm down, give me a call. In the meantime, I am going to go see my daughter. I wasted enough time here. You couldn't. Even if you tried, I, I've left strict instructions. They won't let you. Let me come with you. So you can remind me at every opportunity how much of an absent father that I was? I'll go alone. Let me come with you. Look, I'm sorry. I, I spoke out of anger. Forgive me. Story. Wow, wow, wow. Wonders shall surely never end. Now, what do I do with this evil of a woman called Aisha? Or should I call her the devil's first wife or Satan's concubine? Such a pretender, carrying on as if she's poised in uprightness. <laughs> well, I am happy I now know her games, for this will give me power. Well, well, well. By now, I'm sure you're trying to put the pieces together. Well, good luck, because I'm in no mood to start explaining the sequence of it all. In fact, my mind is not even here to do that. We men. So who shall we trust then? So all she told us was a lie. She actually used us to get to her motives. Ah, how foolish of me. And more so Cleo, who had to sleep with Prince for that motive. Cleo must hear this. Miranda, please, tell me you are lying. Well, thank God for phones that can record. You didn't get to hear it directly from me. This is unbelievable. But why though? Why lie to your friends just to have them do the uncanny for your own gain? Making me sleep with that animal for her own selfish reason? Why? Oh, I, I feel so dirty. First of all, she is not your friend. She just saw an opportunity to have her claws over you, and so she did. This is so sad. And here I was thinking I found a good friend. Hmm? One who fought a woman's fight. One who would do anything to help a fellow woman. One who would go the extra mile. Oh, God. This is such a shame. I feel so used. Well, now you know. So what are you going to do? I mean, I feel we should do something. Honestly, I wish you didn't tell me. It would have been better if I didn't know. Are you kidding me? Cleo. Yes, now. Why tell me? So I can have a fight with her or what? I, I'm, I'm done with such, please. Besides, I have bigger worries. But 
Thanks, anyways, for choosing to tell me. <laughs> but you would have preferred that I did not tell you, right? Yes, I would have preferred you didn't tell me. Uh, but thanks, anyways. I guess it's a bit too late for that now, isn't it? Really? Indeed it is. Well, let me apologize for wasting your time telling you to come here for me to run my mouth. I thought I was helping a friend. Uh, by reminding her of something she did in the past? <laughs> Look, Miranda, I don't know what's up with you and Aisha, but you guys sort your issues out and leave me the hell out of it, okay? At the time I did what I did, I thought I was helping a friend who also helped me. So I'd rather see the good in it. Thank you. Instead of making me remember what I did in the past. Is, is that what you called me here for? Ugh. I see. <laughs> Unbelievable. I go to help a friend and she turns around to slap me in the face. Thanks for telling me either ways. I'm sure you meant well. Really? Hmm? Well, just so you know, Cleopatra, you won't be hearing from me in a very long time. Ugh, whatever rocks your boat, Miranda. Please. Cleopatra, what is wrong with you? I mean, this is very, very sad. It is your type that will see fire and jump right into it because you deceitfully see the likeness of a loved one in there. Ah, and it's your type who will start a fire only to push your loved ones into the burning flame. Why oh, am I not even surprised? I mean, a woman who can sleep with her friend's husband all in the beat of trying to help her friend out is obviously one who sees life upside down. Get out. Ah, thank you. I agree. See you around. Don't count on that, Cleopatra. Oh, whatever. I won't. Off you go. Anyways, I don't blame her. I blame myself. That's your business, not mine. Learn to handle and mind your own business, okay? Huh? Don't be quick to go off and run your mouth to someone about something they would rather not know, all in the name of friendship. Hmm? You will only make matters worse and make the person feel more miserable than she already is. Bottom line, mind your damn freaking business and keep sensitive information sensitive, except the person acts to be in the know. Hmm. Just listen to what she's saying. Huh? Stupid girl. <laughs> Trust me, sweetheart. I am far from being stupid. I know your game. Story, story. Story, story. Story. Hello, welcome. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. It's okay. I was actually attending to a parent who has four kids with us. Mm -hmm. And she's visiting for the first time this year. <laughs> first time in this year? Mm-hmm. Why is that? Why would any parent wait a year to visit a child? <laughs> oh, well, sir, you see, we're a very trusted institution. And many of our clients, like Madame knows, are well-placed individuals in the society who want the best education for their children. We offer same American British education, but also with the added perks of the children being able to study in their home country. And this gives them a better understanding of their culture. You see, sir, in time past, parents have often frowned on the fact that most children that schooled abroad, they lost their sense of direction. And it was difficult for them to develop some homegrown cultural norms. What we've done here, sir, is give them the best of both worlds. The level of fine education they crave abroad and opportunity of living in their home country. Not only that, we do have excursion twice in the year. This gives the children an opportunity of experiencing the Western culture firsthand. I see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that is why we pay 40,000 US dollars a year. Well worth it, sir. Don't you think, ma'am? Oh, I absolutely agree with you. Mm, but it just seems your brother doesn't seem to think in your direction. My brother is extremely conservative in his ways, especially when it comes to dealing with money. But that's not why we're here. Um, he's from out of town and he would love to see his niece before he goes back. Okay. I was wondering why you came on a non-visiting day. <laughs> that's not a problem. I'll arrange for um, the dumb head to get her nanny to get him to see her. <laughs> we'll wait. 
My 11 year old daughter has a nanny. She's your daughter? <coughs> he calls her his daughter. This tells you how close they are. Uh, you got me confused there for a second. <laughs> um, sir, you see, the children actually do have nannies. One nanny per child. This is to cater for their every needs. Like I said earlier, there are children of very important personalities here. And we do not want any kind of problem. I see. Now, how do you expect the children to learn anything if they are so well catered for? Hassan, enough of your conservative questions. Please go ahead and get the dome head. We do, my dear. But I would actually like to discuss something with you in private, if you don't mind. Sure. The receptionist would arrange for you to meet your daughter. Vanessa, yeah, please, can you have um, the dome head? Yes. Let, um, let's arrange for Princess Series visitation session. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> My daughter doesn't really know him, and this would be a very awkward encounter for her. I hope Hassan is smart enough to just play around and wait for me whilst I round up and join him. Ah, these men. Do we even need them at all? They are more of the complicators than the companions, aren't they? I hope there's no problem. Well, madam, there is. Your daughter's grades are really bad. We promoted her last year, thinking that she's going to do better this term. But her grades this term is really worse than the last time. And if she continues this way, there's absolutely no way she's going to move on to the next class on merit. Well, I'm so sorry her grades are really bad. And um, quite frankly, I'm not happy that she's lagging behind. But you do know her situation. She just moved back from the States, left her friends and everything there. And she's now trying to readjust back into our, our system. That must be taking a toll on her. Please, I hope you understand. Mom, I do understand. But my history with kids that transfer is that they struggle within the first term, but they get going by the next and subsequent terms. But your daughter's case is different. While schooling in America, her grades were, were still bad. So, what are you saying? Are you, are you saying my daughter is dull? No, 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 no. All I'm saying is that she just needs more guidance and mentoring, that's all. Doesn't she get that here? Of course she does. But you also need to arrange for some sort of work to be done on her during the holidays. I doubt by the end of this session she's going to move on to the next class. Well, you know she can't repeat, right? But madam, she's not good for the next class. I secretly wonder sometimes if my having promoted her last year without merit is the reason why she lags behind. Excuse me, missus. I pay six million naira every year so that my daughter can get the best education and guidance in your institution. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that she has to repeat her class because you have clearly failed at your job. I'm not her teacher. Do I look like I could be one? If you expect me to cough up six million naira again for her to stay in the same class because you refuse to do your job, you better think again. Look, she goes to the next class by merit or sympathy. You choose. But by no means would I let you let her repeat a class. Understood? Madam, please. It is in her best interest that she repeats this class. And it is in your interest and that of this institution that she mustn't. I would hate for us to end up in court over a lawsuit airing our detainees in public. So, madam, do what you must and let the girl be. The society we live in not only requires academic brains for success. To be street smart also beats academic success sometimes. The last time I checked, she never told me she wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, or an academician. So you do your bit and let her go to the next class. And I'll do mine as her mother to lead her in life. Understood? Thank you for understanding. You allow a child in school to keep an iPhone, have access to the internet, have an iPad, and every communication gadget possible. 
you've installed over 100 cable, unsupervised cable channels in their dorm rooms, which are, by the way, very comfortable and very well decorated, topped with a chef and a nanny at their beck and call. And you expect that child to excel academically? <laughs> Go ahead and fail her. And let me slam you with that lawsuit. Rubbish. You just hang on and make yourself wait, 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 love. You say who owns this house again? <laughs> love, this is what you have been enjoying, eh? Yes, Annette, this is what I've been enjoying. <laughs> just make yourself at home, I'll be right back. I sure will. Sweetheart, <laughs> this is my sister, Annette. Uh -oh. Good afternoon, sir. It's very nice to finally meet you. <laughs> it's good to see you too. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you, and thank you for my sister. You're welcome. Hmm? Please feel free, okay? Uh, uh, thank you for my sister. Thank you for my sister. Am I some sort of charity case or this girl just wants to disgrace me? See that? Mm? I must check back. Okay. Mm? I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> mm. See you. Thank you for my sister. What kind of stupid statement is that? I love. I didn't know what to say and I had to say something. The next time you are in doubt, you keep your mouth shut. Okay, I hear. Mm. Anyway, oh, I hope you are not too hungry. Dinner won't be ready till 7.30. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I can wait till dinner. Okay. Oh, love. Can I spend the night? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan? The plan, how? Huh? As far as our tanko now. What do you mean? I mean, what are we going to do with him? Or don't you want me in on this one? In on what? Come out with it. Don't tell me you don't have plans to milk him dry, eh? <laughs> you know what he told me last time? No, Annette, I don't remember what I told you. And even if I had any plans, you really think I'll carry you along? Oh, love. You hurt my feelings when you say things like that. But it's the truth. Look, Annette. Satanko is a very nice man, and I don't have any plans whatsoever of milking him. Mm, don't believe you. That's because you are rotting in and out, and you don't have any plans of changing. Annette, please, 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 come and go. Eh? Huh? I said come and go. Oh. I don't want any rough play with this one, please. Come oh, on. love, I won't do anything without uh, your permission. Uh, yes, never mind. Just go. I don't understand. Eh, hey, then I'll explain later. Come and go now, Annette. I'll have to go and meet him upstairs. But I thought he said I could stay for dinner now. Go home and cook. No, but what's all this rubbish now? Eh, hey, Annette. You better be careful what comes out of your mouth if you don't want me to slap you. Oh, yeah, give me money for cab fare then. Don't worry. One of the drivers will drop you. And if you like, go and start making phone calls in the open air. Go and be talking anyhow so that they can hear you and make you a mouth watering offer to double your money. Eh, your throat. Trust you to rub it in. You know what? I don't even need your transport money. I'll find my way. Nonsense. Annette, are you crazy? Come on, will you come back here? Annette! Will you come back here? You, this disrespectful and ungrateful thing. You need a bit of taming. You're the one who is ungrateful. After all I did for you. They mean very stupid to say that to me. Get man, open the gates. Oh, look at you. Kicking your sister out of your house. Shameless thing. Look here, you little twat. I brought you to Lagos and I've fended for you ever since. So you respect me whether you like it or not. Don't think that because I've had dirty deals with you, you can now stand nose to nose with me. Tanko here is my last bus stop. And I will not let anyone stand in the way of that. Not even you, dear sister. 
I mean, what is your problem? If it's good for me, then it's good for you and the rest of the family. I love it. You lie. When it is good for you, it's good for only you. How much I take on William? How much did you give me? Nothing. You kid yourself into thinking that you care because you don't. Oh, I see. You have finally forgotten who trained you, haven't you? <laughs> and you want to use it for the rest of our lives, eh? Are you the first one to train our siblings, eh? Must I suffer it all my life? Madam. <laughs> you know what? It's your money all by yourself. I'll be gone before you know it. And you better not steal anything from me, you thief! <laughs> You're the one who is a thief. Look at you. How many people's men have you stolen, eh? Annette. Tell me. Annette, am I the one you're talking to like that? And by the way, I'll be going back to William. Yes, you heard me. He'll take me back after I told him that you threatened me. Don't you even think of coming close to us again. You hear me? You very stupid! Come back here! Idiots! You both deserve each other! Nonsense! Love it! Jesus! My eyes seem double. Oh, <laughs> hello, Kelly. How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just, um, oh, Kelly. Love it. Oh, Kelly. Mr. Tanko wants to see you. Tanko? Is Tanko no longer Uju's ex husband? Uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you used the word ex. Not so fast, dear. Goodness gracious, love it. So you're still that sneaky bitch who snatches everybody's boyfriend and still plays nice girl. My goodness. You and Tanko? Kenny, if you don't get your hands off me this minute, I'll have the guards deal with you. Come on, Emilio. Fine. You go on and live your doomed life. But don't forget, what goes around comes around. Story. Yes, Kenny. What goes around comes around. I am here for good, so I don't think anything will come around. Besides, I don't plan on cheating or stealing or killing him like some people that you and I know. So who are you fooling with that still quote? <laughs> like seriously, is that supposed to make me quit my relationship with Tanko? Okay, me, you'd better think again. Because even God knows my heart and I don't think you hold it against me. I hereby bind and cast into the abyss all curses thrown at me now and in the future. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What is it? Please let me live my life, Biko. Story, story. Story, story. Story. I shall go on. I'm all ears. Aren't you going to apologize for what you did, Miranda? What did I do? You think I don't know what your son looks like? Of course I know you do. Did I ever say you didn't? <laughs> Is this the way you want to handle this? By acting all defensive? Oh, can you guys just give me a break for goodness sakes? I didn't kill anybody, did I? What you did is more than murder in my books. You lied. You killed your son when you lied and paraded him off as an orphan. And if word goes out about this, you're going to kill the reputation of this company. Are these not good enough reasons for me to question you? <laughs> question me? Are you for real? Oh, so now you want to practice your audited law skills on me? Girlfriend, I suggest you hook up with my ex, Frank, fast. Because <laughs> I can see you guys have a lot in common. Well, it's obvious you don't want to talk about this. So, you know what, I'll leave you. But you do know that I'm going to have to fire you because I can no longer trust you. <laughs> fire me? Aisha, you definitely need to get off your high horse. Fire me my foot. Great. So in order for us not to blow this out of proportion for old time's sake, I suggest you respect yourself, pack your belongings, and get out of my premises. <laughs> wait, wait. This is so funny. Did I hear you say for old time's sake? Girl, please do not make me laugh any harder because that was really funny. So you really consider these things, huh? Make could I know mind me. I was in the middle of a transaction there. I saw this coming, so I left my house early to come to office to lay my hands on the account before they change password. <laughs> As she did at the Yanopata, my hands were doing the dirt on the accounts. 
I will transfer 15 million naira from the company's account to mine as a parting gift. Abby, will I leave there empty-handed? Aisha does not know who she's dealing with. She goes in fear, fear. I don't know why you think this is funny. You don't want me to call security here, do you? Because I'm quite serious, you ah, know? Ah, 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 ah. I'm almost done, my dear Aisha. AKA slimy, trashy bitch. I'll be done in seconds and leave here very soon. Now you can help me pack my things or watch me if you so care. At least for old time's sake. I'm very surprised at Miranda's behavior. How can she not be ashamed or apologetic for what she's done? My goodness, I, I guess I never knew her at all. Thank God she's out of my life for good. I'm waiting. Um, enter. Okay, dokie. I'm all there. Fifteen million naira. Miranda, are you? What is the meaning of this? Do you want to end up in jail? <laughs> Try anything funny, my dear Aisha, and both of us will rekindle our so-called love in jail. Now, unlike you, I will be out in no time because my offense won't be as grievous as yours. What the hell are you talking about, you larger-than-life bitch? <laughs> I'm glad you know that I am a larger-than-life, bigger bitch than you are. Girl, you think I don't know your plans? You think I don't know about your husband, the first, and all your games? Okay, I'll shut the fuck up. Let's do this in the spirit of truth, shall we? Get the hell out of my sight, you ungrateful bitch. Bye, classy vagabond. <sighs> now, let me see what she does from here on. Hmm. Aisha, in case if you're wondering, I have a little flashback for you. How did you pull that off? Honey, we all have secrets, don't we? So when you know someone's secret, you hold on to it. It becomes your power, your ace to get anything and everything you want from them. Thanks for the tip, sweetheart. It came in very handy. And I'll forever be grateful to you for that. Mm? Story. Mm -hmm. Now time to deal with her squarely. Thanks a lot, babes, for doing this. You have no idea what this means. <laughs> I'd lost every hope there is, you know. Oh. So grateful. <laughs> you don't need to thank me, girlfriend. See, Aisha is not what it at all. So I can't even be bothered if she goes down, really, because she deserves to. Can you imagine? She didn't even think twice before calling off our relationship and sacked me. <laughs> God, that girl. Mm. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, thanks again. I'm so grateful. Very. Yeah, yeah. I know you are. <laughs> All right, there. Okay. See you around. Yeah, and um, take care of you, right? You too. Yeah.
<laughs> now, what's going on here? Are you out of your mind? Oh, sweetheart, what happened? You cut short your trip? What are you doing, Emma? <sighs> what does it look like I'm doing? Every day, I've been a meanie and come say hi to my friends. Um, this is Uju, mm. my school friend. And we practically bumped into each other. <laughs> hi, hi, Ebube. And this is Miranda. <laughs> Hello. And Lavette. Hi, nice to meet you. Her friends, and by extension, my friend. I wonder if your friends know that you just had a fourth miscarriage, not quite 10 days. And yet you have the mind to celebrate. What exactly are you celebrating? Ebube, in all things, give thanks to the Lord. I mean, isn't that what the Bible says? You are thanking God for your miscarriage. Did I cause my miscarriage? <laughs> Say me so trouble, oh. Do I die in my sadness? I mean, what is wrong in moving forward after a sad occurrence? You know, would I intentionally miscarry? What do you want me to do? Kill myself? <sighs> so here I am trying to be happy. And what do I get in return? You insulting me in front of my friends? Really? Honestly, Abu Bey, I don't understand you, and I don't blame you. Whatever your justification for your act makes no sense. What you have done is wrong, and I need to ask your friends to leave. Please get out. You will do no such thing. This is my house, too. And you will be thrown out if you do not behave yourself. Throw me out? Hey, Torile Keplasas. Did you hear what I heard? That's why they always tell women, hold your corner tight. See what didn't tell them? The first thing he did was to threaten that he would throw her out of the house. The next thing we go follow now, twy slap. All you women, where they hide under that umbrella of my husband, my children, my family, shine your eye because they go through where you for outside carry children. What do you go do? Will you then begin to sell things in the market? Go they abuse me when me go they price you when you they sell stockfish. Make when I wake up, oh, as you see me so eh. Nobody fit try me. They're not born the person well. Wake up and smell the roses. I don't talk my own, no. Uh -uh. Look here. You won't be long with Don't you dare raise your hand at me. Are you out of your mind? Let go of me, stupid. Ah! Anyway, your father! Now me you slap by this, eh? Now me you rest dirty and slap in front of my friends! Okay, please, please. At this point, you do not have any cause to celebrate. I need to ask you to get out. Get out! Face, leave my house. Leave my house before I do something stupid. Whenever I have a reservation about a person or a thing, it always turns out sour. I mean, I should have known better to sit in my house than to go to a crazy man's house this Sunday. Ha! Plus, did anyone notice how her tongue changed from phonetics to serious calabar lady in English? <laughs> <laughs> That's only calabar lady in English, oh, Miranda. The girl enter pigeon join safe. I mean, I could have sworn that this girl never lived a day in Nigeria before we met her, even though we went to the same school for crying out loud. I mean, Chick made me believe that you could change your accent through and through, even after university, if you live long enough abroad. Boy, was I wrong. I'm sorry, Oima. You're on your own. You are the only one that knows what you are celebrating after a miscarriage. The fourth one, safe. <laughs> anyway, we will soon hear the truth. But for now, I won't be coming to yours anytime soon. An official topic. Story, 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 story. Oh, this is it. This is it, June. I'm done with that friend of yours. I mean, she's going insane. Please calm down. 
I'm sorry about Ima's behavior. Maybe it's the pressure of the miscarriage. Pressure of what miscarriage? A woman who celebrates with a bunch of stupid friends days after. I worry for Ima, honestly. There is more going on with her than you know. Why don't you ask her questions? What kind of questions? I mean, questions like what? Questions like why she's acting the way she is. You know, women sometimes feel resentment towards a guy for doing something and then they start acting up. Talk to her to find out. Well, I've tried talking to her several times and she mentioned it's my fault that she's been having miscarriages. How? And she said my sperm is not potent enough or it's too watery from all the women I've cheated with. But you know me inside out, June. You know me. I've never cheated on Ima. Never. No, you haven't. Even if I've tried several to show that I like you. Mm. Hey, baby. You're a very good man. You must be very happy for landing a man like you. You do? Do what? You like me? Of course I do. Don't tell me you've not noticed the signs yet. Listen, Jean. All I need is a woman who will love me and take care of my home. Who will bear me children and be my wife. Who will be content with whatever I give her, knowing that if all is well, we'll live happily ever after. Is that too much to ask? Of course it's not. Ibube, I can do all that. I can be anything you want me to be. I don't expect too much from you. Trust your love in return. Is that too much to ask? Absolutely not. Story, 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 story. You can have your drink now. Yeah. I might be so far away, like the ground to the sun, but I promise to be back like the world will sun. But this time I'm so empty handed. Yes, ma'am. I'm so heavy, like the plane that just landed. So never worry, I'm home coming. I'm coming home. Okay, okay. okay ma'am. So yeah. <laughs> My people. There is only one life to live, and I am determined to live it well. I cannot kill myself for what I cannot change. Hmm? Um, excuse me, please. What do I offer you, please? Oh, you got it. Gentlemen, please, what do I offer you? Uh, I'll, I'll send for you if I need anything. Actually, the drinks are free on the house. Oh, wow. Oh, wow for you. The guy is asking for drinks and uh, asking too many questions. Oh, my God, my eyes open up. I'm going to see poisonous tea. I hear oh, you. Wine. Thank you very much. Uh, wine, okay. Same thing. See, make sure you don't come back here for bills because we didn't order anything. If you do, I'll design your face with some upper cup blows, man. <laughs> it hasn't gotten to that, sir. Actually, the lady at the bar is actually purchasing the drinks. Okay, yeah, nice one. So now, it's time to burn up that 15 million naira, man. KB, no wonder you insisted on coming here. But of course, man. KB. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. I don't trust these girls these days. They go both ways. I tell you. <laughs> but I'm telling you, eh, if she feels the need to spend money, she must as well be spending it on me now. Man, I'm going in, bros. Yeah, I'll finish him, bro. Wish me luck, bro. Thank you. I tell you. Hey, lovely. I just had to come and say a very big thank you to a lovely, gorgeous, kind hearted, endowed woman. <laughs> who shares all our kindness with the world. And I must say, your type is really hard to find. Um, I just had to come over here and tell you that. <laughs> you flatter me with your words, mister. Mm. Come here. 
Let me put a face to that sexy voice. Mm -hmm. oh. My goodness, you're beautiful. So, uh, what do I call you, princess? Mm -hmm. Um, did I get the name right, princess? <laughs> Shame, you did it. Oh. <laughs> my name is Miranda. Oh, <laughs> that's a precious name for a very precious lady. I go by the name of Ken. Oh, Ken. Yeah. That's, that's a Wait, 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 guys. I know you all are enjoying the scene, but hold up a minute. I mean, this guy just mentioned my daughter's name, Princess, and it got me thinking about her and her brother for a second. Now, I should have gotten a grip of myself and let go, think about my family, and stop all this carefree attitude and careful ones. But no. I continued flirting with Ken and even decided to push it further and lured him to going home with me. So on that note, I say to whoever that claimed that you did something absurd or had sex with someone under the influence of alcohol, shut your damn lying mouth up and take responsibilities for your actions. <laughs> Thank I must you. say you're very, very, very pleasant. Mm. You too, my darling. Mm -hmm. You too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Easy, baby. Easy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You okay? Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. You should, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I feel a headache. Oh yeah. Yeah. I Do don't even know how I'm gonna get home tonight. Oh, that's not a problem, sugar. Can I take you home? Do you want to take me home? I'll take you home. Do you want to take me home? I'll take you home. Can okay. I take you home? You want to take me home? I want like to take you home. Yes. Yeah. Take me home. All right, I'll <laughs> And sure he did. <laughs> he took me home and took me home, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, snap out of this, Miranda. Hmm? Well, this is just to add to what I said before, that even if you're under the influence of alcohol, you know exactly what you're doing. You can feel free to argue on that. Hmm? But let me ask one question. How did we get to my street, my compound, and my room? I mean, I can wake up in the morning and claim that the poor boy took advantage of me and had sex with me. But... Nothing do me, nothing do I. <laughs> so if you're not ready to take up responsibilities for your actions under the influence of alcohol, then please don't drink. Simple and short. <sighs> Let me go back to my please, Jerry. <laughs> Little pervert. What are you doing checking me out like hey, that? Nothing <sighs> wrong in admiring a sleeping beauty now, is there? Hmm? Anyways, um I hope you had a good rest. Sure I did. How was your day? Nothing adventurous. How was yours? Very exciting. You have no idea. Guess okay. what happened? You know I'm not good with guesses. Come, 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 come and sit. Come on, spill. I got a lead on Aisha's dirty dude from her friend Miranda. See what? Yummy. Aisha's friend Miranda, the one she recently had a fallout with. Okay, I'm listening. She told me lots of shitty stuff about Aisha. How did it change? Yummy. You would never imagine. Okay. Hassan is not Aisha's love interest like we all thought. He's actually her husband, Richard. So technically, Prince is her second husband. Is this a true story or is this just some hearsay? It's no hearsay. I have a recording and indeed it's juicy. Uh, no kidding. Oh 
my god. This is all we need, kid. This is all we need. I know, right? I know. But you know we have to move fast. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, we need to speak to the lawyer. Mm hmm Give me five. Cool. I'll be out in five, okay? Cool. Damn, you're going down. Oh, <laughs> Ken, mm. I haven't felt like this in a long, long time. <laughs> Thank you for making it happen. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, darling. Uh, I must say, uh, I haven't felt a connection with anyone in a long time the way I felt with you. I must say, you're special. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, here. I want you to leave all your numbers because there is no way I'm letting you go. We'll I mean, do. you're just so good for my body and soul. We'll do, darling. We'll do. Ah, uh, so. Yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, nah, not at all. Uh, I was actually on a rebound, but uh, I guess that's all broken now. Ah, nice. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, okay, there. <laughs> so I'm gonna see you around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, darling. Okay. You call mm. me? Every day. You told me to pack a friend. Okay, there we go. All right, take care, okay? All right, mm -hmm. All right. All right, Dale. Oh. Oh. My dear, can you imagine such so terrible? I actually dropped you off in your car and yeah. I forgot my wallet in my car. <laughs> oh, okay. Honestly, so I'm like, <laughs> I swear, get to pack with some dough. Uh, why not? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I just washed me my back, that weren't there. Oh. Should I run or should I run? So what if he drove me in my car? If we don't get money for pockets. He's a tigolo, Jerry. Any man that will ask a woman for transport or any sort of money after scoping her is a gigolo through and through. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Waiting day there. After all, the guy is giving me some loving, and I can as well reciprocate that. Hmm? Ken, ask away, Jerry. You have earned it. <laughs> story, 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 story. Uh, well, that should be about 100 also. Wow. Mm -hmm. 100k. Mm -hmm. Miranda. Just for transport. Wow. I see you're definitely sending the bar high. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> I hope you can keep up. I can, darling. There is more from where that came from. Mm. Mm? <laughs> so, will I see you tonight? Most definitely, darling. Mm? Most Come definitely. Give me some more, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Didn't I say it? You can smell them from a 10 mile radius. He's a chicolo. Lucky boys. To fiakwa. Anyways, <laughs> I can as well treat him accordingly. After all, I am paying. Story, story. Don't get better food for house. Story. Timo. Timo. My heart is worried though. I can't lie. Okay, calm down now, eh? We don't talk this thing before. I'm sure it's gonna be nothing. Relax. Ah. I know, but this is different. I've never had these symptoms before. Which symptoms? Headache, back pain, flu-like symptoms, and swollen glands. <laughs> And I'm sure that it's um, the part of the swollen glands that uh, worry you the most, Abby. I won't take Nakopuna with back pain and swollen glands. 
Oh boy, show some empathy. Man. This is not funny. Knacker of life. <laughs> well then, eh? I think you need to think outside the box, you know. Become more creative. Think of using parts that are, are not paying for swollen at the moment. Hmm? <laughs> like? Oh boy, see your face. <laughs> I don't wish to be in your shoes right now. Oh, this is not funny. Seriously, I feel funny. On top of it, I have fever. Well, I'm, I'm still very sure it's nothing serious. You know, it's probably one of those STDs that any antibiotic can get rid of, you know. I had similar symptoms recently and, oh boy, that reminds me. Those girls are a no-go zone for now. In short, forever. Imagine, I've never had an STD as serious as herpes I've been here in my life. Those girls are crazy motherfuckers. No near them again, no. Herpes. Mm. <laughs> I'm not smart in that. Me, I have had recurring ones separately. In fact, if I, if I didn't always go for a checkup, I wouldn't have known. Oh, but you're funny, oh. Isn't it not better you, you don't know than to start dashing to the hospital at the slightest symptom? Even one that boy, you don't run to the hospital. Oh, boy. Better to know how it is well. Hell? Hey, that is what. Coming from you, I take that same one with a pinch of salt. I look good, stuck. Are you not worse? <laughs> Get out. Okay, if it's going to make you feel any better, just go for a test, eh? Story, 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 story. What is she doing here? This is not our hospital, neither is this the place for Antenator. It will be seen no more. I will find out. Don't worry. Good day. Hello, good day. How may I help you? Um, I was here before with my friend Ima that just walked in. Yeah. Oh, she introduced you? Yes. I see. Have you registered? No, not yet. What's your name, young lady? Uh, my name, Mimi Adams. Yeah, that's my name. Mimi, Mimi Adams. Adams. You're not on my list, oh. Mimi Adams. Were you asked to come in today? Yes, um, no, I, I think so. Or was it yesterday? I'm confused. I'm, I can't remember. I'm really confused. I know, dear. I can yeah. relate. Forgetfulness is one of the many bad side effects of pregnancy. Oh, Now, yeah. isn't that why we're here? To help you get your life back? I tell you, my sister. I tell you. Oh, well, since you're not booked for today, mm. would you like to come in tomorrow? Oh, I would have really like to be seen today. Don't no. you guys have any openings for today? No, not today, not today. We already have three cases booked mm -hmm. for today. Okay, book me up for tomorrow then. Okay. All right, we'll do. So let me take your details. Name, Mimi Adams. Yes, please. Age? 26. How far gone are you? Sorry? How many months pregnant are you? Oh, oh, okay, pregnant. Um, just two months, yeah. Two months. two months. Well, two months mm. will get you three million naira. Oh? But just so you know, if you wait another two more months, you'll be getting five million naira. Uh, um, you know what? I think I'll wait. Terrific. I'll wait. Um, Great. That sounds very cool. Thank you. All right. Hang on one second.
What is it? What is it? What, <laughs> did, what did you find out? It will be. <laughs> I might be wrong, Go. And for your sake, I hope I'm wrong. It appears pregnant ladies who don't want their pregnancy come here to do away with it. And the best part is, they get paid for doing it. Ah. June. <gasps> do you know what you're saying? Hmm. Hey, booby. The lady at the front desk asked me for my details because I wasn't booked for today. She asked me how far gone I was. I thought I was just two months. She reminded me that a two months pregnancy will fetch me three million naira. Hmm. And if I wait extra two months, I will make five million naira. June, wait, 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 wait. Do you know what you're saying? That Ima has been selling her pregnancy for a fee? Ebu Bey, I am not sure. But everything adds up now, doesn't it? Huh. Don't you think we should report these people? This is dangerous, so. Oh, yeah. 